The social media world is buzzing about the arrest of Andrew Tate. You know, I didn't follow Andrew Tate. I only began to hear about him when he was banned from social media. But the TikTok world in particular is going nuts over the arrest of Andrew Tate. There's all sorts of theories and, you know, is it real? Was it staged? Was it the matrix? What's going on? Is he innocent? Is he guilty? I can't answer all of those questions, but I can speak to the larger issue that is really the critical issue and how Andrew Tate as inadvertently bringing visibility or greater awareness to the problem. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is the Prayer Warriors podcast. This episode is brought to you by Awakening Prayer Hubs. It's a prayer movement, a prayer family, where we are contending for souls, revival, and awakening in the nations of the earth. I am doing prayer discipleship with hundreds of prayer leaders in about 70 nations around the world. We are pushing, pressing together, and we have your back. My heart is to see you break through so that your city can break through. We want to take care of you, get you healed up, get you empowered, get you equipped, and send you forth. Check it out at awakeningprayerhubs.com. There's a free ebook over there for you just for checking it out. It's called Your Prophetic Armor. Let's get into this today. I want to look more closely at this. You know, Andrew Tate, if you have not heard of Andrew Tate, he's a British-American mixed race, former kickboxing champion. He was also a contestant on uh, Big Brother in the UK uh, back in 2016, and he was actually kicked out of the house. He's an extremely incendiary uh, social media figure. He is very confident, he's very wealthy, and he's very bold. Well, many of you may know by now, he was arrested in Romania on human trafficking allegations. And a statement from prosecutors said that four people, including two Britons, were suspected in a criminal group that sexually exploited women. Now, with some of the past comments he's made about women, some of the misogynist comments that he has released about women. Some people are rushing to judgment and saying he's guilty. Other people are saying this is a setup by Greta Thunberg, who he had a tiff with over Twitter. Now, back to the allegations. These women were allegedly subjected to physical violence and mental coercion through intimidation, constant surveillance, control, and invoked uh, evoking uh, alleged debts and, and forced to make pornographic videos. There's six victims identified according to The Guardian. Now, these are just allegations, but here's the thing. It shines a spotlight, this whole Andrew Tate scenario with his brother Tristan. This all sheds a light once again on human trafficking. You know, many people believe uh, slavery ended over a century ago. And Although slavery is no longer legal or socially accepted, thank God, it never really ended. Slavery doesn't look the same as it did during the 300 years of transatlantic slave trade. Indeed, slavery has taken on a new face. Everyone should be free. And yet through force, fraud, and coercion, human traffickers violate this most basic right. Traffickers, uh, exploitive practices affect every country in the world, including the United States. As a matter of fact, my region, South Florida, is one of the prime regions for sex trafficking in the earth. And this, these practices diminish and destroy our communities, sense of security, and the global economy. I want to give you a couple of statistics because I want to pray and I want to point you to a resource. The International Labor Organization estimates that there are 24.9 million, 24.9 million, that's 25 million victims of human trafficking around the world. That's the estimate. There may be double that. Of course, of those uh, 24.9 million, 20.1 20.1 million are labor trafficking victims, and about 4.8 million are sex trafficking victims. 3.8 million victims were adults, and 1 million were children. So you've got 1 million kids. You know, these kids get snatched up, they get kidnapped. What do you think happens to them? Many times they are uh, brought into a sex traffic trade. Now, globally, globally, around the world, of victims of human trafficking, which includes sex trafficking, were women and girls. 
99%. Listen, we have a petition. We have created a petition. We want to pray, but we want to take faith-inspired action. We have uh, created a petition to end modern-day slavery. And I have put the link in the notes, but you can also go directly to awakeningprayerhubs.com slash end slavery, awakeningprayerhubs.com slash end slavery. This month, Awakening Prayer Hubs is taking up the cause of human trafficking. With prayer and faith-inspired action, we can make a difference. Now, you're going to find all the prayer points for this month's theme over at awakeningprayerhubs.com. We like to put out these resources to the public, even if you're not part of our movement, even if you haven't launched a hub, you can join a hub, you can sponsor a hub at awakeningprayerhubs.com. But we want to get you these prayer points and these prayer guides. We have a lot of prayer guides, we have a lot of prayer tools, and we invite you to leverage those. But what we want to do is we want to pray. I want to pray right now. I want to model these prayers, and I'd like you to agree with me. Amen? The first thing we want to do, we want to enter into identificational repentance for greed, which is idolatry, violence, sexual immorality in our land. Daniel the prophet entered into identificational repentance for Israel. So did others in the Bible. So we want to pray these strongholds are uprooted from the foundation of your city. And we want to pray for an exposure of human trafficking brings. So we're going to start doing that now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, would you forgive us? God, would you please forgive us for turning a blind eye to human trafficking, to, uh, to, 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 to just being too busy to pray about a thing that's affecting millions of people, especially women and children around the world. Father, we repent for turning a blind eye to violence and sexual immorality in the land. Lord, we ask you to forgive us, our cities and our nations, for this atrocity in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you to root up these strongholds from the foundations of our cities, according to Daniel 9, 1 through 19, and Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Father, we're asking you in the name of Jesus to expose human trafficking rings around the world and that traffickers would be brought to swift justice. I decree every person preying on children or luring people into human trafficking is detected and dealt with justly and swiftly in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that human traffickers and buyers will find their transactions interrupted and their wicked plans frustrated and their plots overturned in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you to bring confusion into the enemy's camp so that his human trafficking schemes are unorganized and ineffective in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for legislation to be enacted that makes it easier to arrest, charge, and prosecute human traffickers in the name of Jesus. We pray for the FBI and the other investigative units in other nations to track down and capture human traffickers in the name of Jesus. We pray for the rescue of those enslaved in human trafficking in our city and that the Lord would restore back to them the years that the swarming locust has eaten in the name of Jesus. We pray that God would deliver them and rescue them from bondage and death in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for justice, salvation, and healing on human trafficking victims in the name of Jesus. And there's so many more prayers, guys. We've got 21 prayers against human trafficking. I would love for you to go over to Awakening Prayer Hubs and go into the Pray the News section and pray those prayers. Sign up today to launch a prayer hub. Listen, I want to mentor you. I want to disciple you in the realm of prayer and intercession. But the context in which I do that is through awakeningprayerhubs.com. We have so many benefits of joining Awakening Prayer Hubs. I want to just go through that quickly with you because most of you don't know much about it. You're going to get strategic prayer discipleship. You're going to get access to onboard training. You're going to enjoy a daily prayer covering. You're going to get to take the inner healing track. You're going to have access to a leadership portal. You're going to have family meetings with me, Q&As with me, connecting with the family of intercessors who truly care about you. You're going to tap into monthly prayer themes with prayer points. You're going to get equipped to pray for the nations. You're going to watch weekly live teachings. You're going to get listed on the interactive map if you want to be. You're going to get a private email address so that nobody can see your, pers your, your personal email address. You're going to get access to a 24 
seven Zoom firewall. You're going to access social media banners to let people know what you're doing so they can join you. You're going to gain wisdom and encouragement from your regional leader. You're going to gain access to a private Facebook group for community. You're going to receive prayer activations. You're going to access archive teachings. You're going to, you're going to view weekly services. You're going to access Zoom pop-ups with me. You're going to access pop-up prayer calls with me. You can access the web church membership. You can do so much more. You can go as deep as you want to. And so we want you to be blessed. We want you to be equipped. God blesses intercession. It is critical. If we don't pray more and more, things are going to get worse and worse. So I want to invite you to go to awakeningprayerhubs.com now and get involved. Join a hub, launch a hub, or sponsor a hub. The launched hubs are the ones I'm mentoring. Amen. And I want to mentor you. I want to disciple you in prayer. So Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that you draw those in to Awakening Prayer Hub. So you have called to stand for their cities and to receive prayer discipleship. Bless them, help them and give them a forehead like Flint in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Have a breakthrough day. In 2007, the Holy Spirit woke me up in the middle of the night and told me he would bring a third great awakening to the nation. I believe we're going to see the greatest great awakening in the history of the world and it will spill over into the nations of the earth for the glory of God. I believe we'll see a movement greater than all previous moves that God put together. And I know it's predicated on prayer. The Awakening Prayer Hub's mission in any city is to draw a diverse group of intercessors who have one thing in common, to contend for the Lord's will in its city, state, and nation. Bishop Bill Hammond, Lou Engel, Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, James Gall, Alveda King, and many others are standing with us. Will you start a hub or find a hub in your city at awakeningprayerhubs.com?